so hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this tutorial video we are going to be creating a search filter with react as you have seen in most of the websites there is a search input when the user enters their product name their product related to the name that you have entered in your input will be displayed down below so that is known as search filter so we will learn how to create it with react in few minutes so if till now you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell so without wasting the time let's jump right into the video great so as you can see over here i have opened my code editor and my project on the right hand side great so now here we are having a simple app.js file that comes created when we install our fresh react project but i have created two more files one is for our css file the stylings are over here the source code for the code will be provided in my github repository and the link will be provided in the description below and as you can see i'm having this template data.json file in which i'm having an array of an objects which you can see which is having their own unique id their image their title and the price that we will be using as our e-commerce project right great so this data is like our e-commerce project so i will explain you in a good way with good and unique design so it's not going to be that lengthy video because I have already prepared my stylings and my data .json file over here. So we need to just work with the functionality and how we need to display the data. Am I right guys? Yes. So now I'm just going to remove this div from the return over here. I'm just going to delete that and close my return. That's it. And I'm importing the app.css file over here. Other than importing the app.css file, I would like to import the style.css file over here. Now let me start with my return. I will be having the react fragments over here. In between these react fragments, I will be having a div which is going to be having a class name of template container. In this template container, we are going to be having another div that is going to be a container for our search input. So let's create a div which is going to be having a class name of search input underscore container in this div we are going to be having our input so let me create my input which is going to be having an id of search input for styling it in my css file and after that we are having a type of text then we are going to provide it a placeholder that is going to be search here great now let me just close my input and now they should display my search input over here and as you can see my search here input is being displayed that's great and awesome all right so after displaying our search input i would like to have my template container so here my search input container ends so for a good view i'm just gonna maximize my visual studio code editor so it will be really easy for you all guys to see the code and now let me just make my code size larger okay so now our here search input container ends over here after the search input container ends i would like to create an, another div which is going to be having a class name of template underscore container this is going to contain all of the data that we have in our template data.json file so now we need to import that data from this json file so let me just add an import statement import the data from my template data.json file that's it so now in my template container how will i map through it and add a filter functionality so for doing that i will be using this curly braces that means the javascript code in that i'm just gonna select my data all right then i will be using this dot filter method over here in this filter method it's going to take a value as a parameter in it and now we'll just write our code i'm going to say if my search term okay is double equals to null i would like to execute this code so now we need to create our search term state value so from where we are importing our react so we have not yet imported it over here so let me write an import statement import react use state hook from react great 
after doing that now we need to create a state value for our hair so that is going to be search term set search term that equals to use state hook and it's going to be as an empty string that's it so now whatever the value the user will be entering in our input we need to set it our search term value whatever value the user will be entering in our search input i will set that value as our search term variable i mean to say i will store that value in my search term so for that i'll be using this on change method over here on change that equals to a curly braces in that i'm going to select an event and then i'm just gonna set my search term to the events dot target dot value awesome after doing that now here dot filter i'm selecting my value and i'm saying if my search term is double equals to null return all of the value that means re display me all of the products but over here i will be having this else if statement in which i would like to select my value its title dot i will be using the two lower case method over here if this includes search term dot to lowercase method over here also then i would like to return that specific value only so if now you haven't understand it i will explain you once again so what i'm doing over here i'm mapping through my data i'm i'm filtering over here i'm saying select uh, set my value that means the day there are totally three datas the one data i'm just naming it as value if you would like you can just name it as item it totally depends on you then i'm saying if my search terms that means the date the text that the user have typed in our search input is saved in our search term state variable i'm saying if it is empty string just return all of the products that means just show me all of the data but if our values title is matching to the title that the user have entered in our search input just return me that specific data only got it that's simple so now let's return the data so this is going to be our filter method over here after the filter method we can just use our map method to map through the data i'm just going to select my value and over here i will have my return tag and how i would like to display my data so i will be having a div which is going to be having a class name of value.id then oh sorry my apologize this is not going to be a class name this is the key so the class name is going to be template <coughs> and i would like to provide it a key that is going to be our id the unique id that we have provided to all of our items great inside this div we are going to be having our image source is going to be value.image and the alt text i'm just going to keep it as empty it totally depends on you whatever you would like to do and now i would like to display the title so i'm just going to select my value inside that i'm just going to select my title and the last thing that i would like to display is going to be the price so inside my paragraph tag i would like to provide it a class name that is going to be price and in between the curly braces i'm just going to select my price from the specific data that's it we are all set guys with our beautiful search filter functionality with react js so let's test it out whether it is working fine or not so i'm just going to open my browser screen and maximize it out because it's not responsive i have just maximized it out so as you can see over here we are having our search input we are having our products being displayed over here gaming laptop macbook m1 air and playstation 5 console with their price so let me just come back to my VS Code editor and add a dollar symbol over here. And now let me just switch back to my Google Chrome. So that looks amazing. So let me just search for MacBook. When I just press M, as you can see, it is displaying me two products because the M is included in their title. If I just write A, and now as you can see, it is displaying me MacBook. If I just write full thing, it will just display me the MacBook Air. And if I just write some data that is not there inside my products, so like mm, for a simple test, it is not gonna display us anything. Am I right guys? Yes. Now if I just search for PlayStation 5, 
as you can see the playstation 5 console product is displaying me so this is how you can just enter as many products as you like in your json file it will be displayed over here and the title will be saved your search inputs title will be saved in your search terms state variable and that will be matching through your data then only the data will be displayed otherwise it's going to display the whole data got it so once again i'm just going to explain you the code so let me open my visual studio code editor see i just created this search term state variable i'm importing my data.json file in my app.js file then we are having our input being displayed over here on change of the text i'm firing an event and setting my search term as the target value that the user have entered in our search input then i'm mapping through my data this is the filter method and this is map method to display it i'm right guys so in my filter method what i'm doing is i'm selecting that value and i'm saying if my search term is empty return all of the products else if it if it is matching to my data the user entered value in our search input title is matching with our data just display that specific data only so this is how our search filter functionality works so if till now you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell and the source code for this search filter will be provided in my github repository you can just access the link download and you are free to use it and make changes great and I will see you in the next video.